I'll never catch him while I'm this small. Why, curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, hmm? Hello everybody! I hope you're having a magical day today. If you guys are new here, my name is Tayluna and welcome to our fun spiritual hippie channel, all the things. Today's video you guys have requested for so long and I'm really excited to be sharing it with you guys. Today we're going to be talking all about the magic of using pendulums and I'm so excited. Give me a thumbs up down below if you are excited. If you have a pendulum, pull it out. Let's do the thing. I did want to say really quickly before I jump in that this is more of a how I like to use my pendulums and my practice. This isn't like a breakdown of how pendulums work, but this video I'm going to be focusing more on how I like to use my pendulums and they're pretty simple, easy, beginner friendly ways to use your pendulum. I hope that you guys enjoy it. So I thought it would be fun to share my pendulums with you before we actually talk about how to use them. So I have three pendulums to show you now and and this is the one that I use the most. I'm sure you guys have seen it in plenty of my videos, but it has a little goddess charm and then a bunch of chakra beads. And at the bottom, it is an amethyst. This is one of my favorites. And then at the very bottom, it has a piece of clear quartz so you can, you know, do your little thing. The next one that I have is also a chakra related pendulum. At the bottom, I have a rose quartz point and then there are all of the chakra beads so the full rainbow you know all of the chakra beads and then there's actually a little wooden ohm on the end which i really really like one side is darker and one side is lighter and i just think it's really cute and dainty and i really really like this one and the final pendulum that i have to share with you today is this labradorite pendulum it is a plain one so it's just labradorite and then on the very bottom it has again a piece of clear quartz which you will see pretty frequently so when you first get a pendulum you are going to want to program the pendulum or get to know its energy as it gets to know yours. So one of my favorite ways to do this is to hold my pendulum, take a minute, meditate, breathe, get into a clear state of mind. And once you're feeling pretty good, then ask the pendulum or tell it rather, show me yes. And as you can see, it's swinging from side to side. And then you can take a minute, breathe, and then tell it to show me no. And now it's swinging front to back. And I haven't moved, I'm not intentionally trying to make it move in any particular way. I am just letting it move freely. I like to stick to yes and no with pendulum personally. I think it's the most beneficial to do it that way. Um, so I like to start out by doing that. Show me yes, show me no. Um, and that is great to kind of kick off your relationship with your pendulum so you kind of get to know it a little bit. Now you know how to do very basic readings. So there are two readings that I'm gonna share with you today that I like to do frequently. But the first reading that I like to do is actually something that I just recently started doing and it is a chakra reading. So this is where you're going to figure out where you have imbalances in your chakras. So I like to use obviously my chakra pendulum for this. You don't need to do that. You can use any pendulum you have. You can even DIY pendulums. Let me know if you want to see a video about that. That would be kind of fun. How to read your chakra energies and figure out where there are blockages. Tell it or ask it to show me blocked. And then you can ask it to show me a clear chakra. Okay. So this one for me was a little bit less of a directional thing, but it was more like when there is less movement in my pendulum, my chakra looks to be blocked. And when it moves a little bit more freely, 
then it is cleared. So that's what it's telling me, but ask your pendulum before you do it for clarity, um, or if you have more of an intuitive feeling, you can go with that too. You're gonna start at the very bottom, so you can't really see necessarily. Let me see if I can stand up. Okay, hopefully this isn't too blurry, but I wanna give you a good idea of what I'm talking about. So if you are unaware, your chakras, there are seven energy points that go throughout your body, starting at your root, which is down at your tailbone basically. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pendulum and place it right in front of your root chakra. And then just take a minute to notice the way that the pendulum is moving. And then move it up to your sacral chakra. And move it up again to your solar plexus. Up to your heart. Up to your throat. your third eye and finally your crown and then from here I like to go all the way back down and just kind of check the reading so then you'll come back down third eye and go all the way back down through your chakras again and see what the pendulum tells you. So once you've done that, you'll have a really good idea of which chakras are blocked and which are cleared. So you'll know where to kind of spend more time in meditation and rituals and things like that and make sure that all of your chakras are nice and cleared and balanced because that is super important. That is the first way that I love to use my pendulums. The second way that I like to do readings is more of a double divination, if you will. Well, I like to use my pendulums in my tarot and oracle readings sometimes. So basically, if you've watched my vlogs, you've definitely seen this before, but basically what you do is take your oracle or tarot cards and give them a good shuffle. You can set your intention while you're shuffling and kind of do the same initiation with your pendulum. You can ask it what yes or no means. You can ask it a particular question. Again, try and keep it a yes or no question. So after I shuffle my cards, I like to lay all of the cards out in like a rainbow shape and then I will take my pendulum on top of the cards and begin the reading. So you'll want to pick one end to start at and slowly move your pendulum over all of the cards. And you want to go really slowly so you can see what the pendulum is telling you and actually like see the reading that's happening. Once you get that yes reading, the card that's right beneath your pendulum is the one that you're going to pick. And you can do this as many times as you want. For me, when I do daily readings, I really like to do three card pulls. So that is pretty much it, you guys. Those are my favorite ways to use my pendulums and to program my pendulums to get to know them a little bit better. So I hope that you guys try these things out. I really love using my pendulum. It's very powerful and I get a very, very clear answer like 99% of the time. So I really highly recommend using pendulums. If you want to grab a pendulum for yourself, I will link a few down down below and maybe we will do a little DIY pendulum class if that sounds fun let me know in the comments below if that's something you would like to do and thank you guys so much for your sweet response on my last video I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it if you missed it it is a little clearing energy clearing um, meditation situation <laughs> and I will link it down below so you can go and check it out I haven't said much about this but I have merch and a lot of my digital art available for sale so if you guys want to check it out and support the channel I will link it down below there's t-shirts, there's stickers, there's mugs, there's hoodies, there's pretty much everything that you can think of. Um, there's even art prints if you guys like a lot of the digital art that I make. So I would love for you to check it out. I'll leave the link down below. And thank you so much for your support. Just going to look at my art means a lot. So thank you so much. That is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Tayluna so we can connect. And if you haven't already, click the little subscribe button down below. Become part of our little family. We would love to have you here. And um, yeah, I love you guys to the moon and back. I will see you in next week's video. Bye. Mwah. I can't mess up my lipstick. <laughs>